you say what he knows, the Arctic Fish Show, Wi-Fi 1460, from 5 to 8 o'clock tonight, that's right, an extra hour of sports power, Seth Jordan and Nail from 7 to 8, talking Eagle football, and the NFL from last week, but uh, today, we're going to have so many good, good guests on the show today, oh my lord, when I tell you it's a good, it's a who's who's lineup, it really is that great of a lineup today, first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to John Peralta, and he's going to talk about baseball, right now, the pennant race in the wild card, it's really super. The division leaders, they got it all locked up. Washington and Cincinnati and San Francisco and the National League, they're all locked up. In the American League, it's Baltimore and the Yankees and the Rays are fighting it out. Chicago and Detroit, they're fighting it out. And then you got the West Texas, the Angels are fighting out. Oakland's right in there. Some surprise teams there, Oakland and Baltimore being in the hunt. Actually, if the play started today, the playoffs were today, they'd actually both be in there. Incredible. Robbie Cano had a couple of runs for the Yankees last night. They won a game, Baltimore, they, they just keep on winning and winning. They're keeping pace with the Yankees. And we're going to have Dan Duquette on, who is the senior vice president of the Baltimore Orioles. He'll be here one day next week. Then we're going to do him live. Guy's a great, great baseball guy. Anywhere he goes, they win. Okay. Hey, Fergie Jenkins is in the house tonight, Hall of Fame pitcher. Just got back from uh, doing a really great thing out in Baltimore there. Saw him live. In fact, we've got a, a YouTube video of Fergie Jenkins. So he'll be in the house also with us tonight. The Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Nkoye, this guy was bigger than a house, run like a freight train. If there's any comparison, maybe he didn't have the speed like Jim Brown, but certainly could break tackles. Big dude, and he's a real, real great football player, former Kansas City Chief, Christian Nkoye. He is in the house tonight. Not easy to get him, but we got him. At 6 o'clock, Dan Peek could go to 6 to 6.30, upper hand promotions. We deal with the young kids. Hopefully they find their spots in life. We get them into good colleges from the high schools or from middle high school, they go to the high school and we put them in the right position. Dan does a wonderful job with that also. And then what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Reggie Grant. Reggie's a former football player, okay? And he does some uh, marketing right now, so he'll come on the show. And then what we do is from 7 to 8 o'clock, I start to have a lot of fun. Not that the show is not fun because I love the show. But I get to do the show with my guy, Seth Joyner. Talking about the Philadelphia Eagles winning 17 16 last week and a disgrace. I mean, a disgrace of a football game. They got to play the Baltimore Ravens this week. They won 44 to 13 against the Bengals on national TV. Just croaked them. So we'll talk some football with that. I got to say one thing for the Philadelphia Phillies: six in a row, going to play Houston tonight. One game over 500. Three games out. They all lost again last night, beating the Dodgers, Pittsburgh, and St. Louis. They all lost again. Another game of three games out right now. Now we got a race, ladies and gentlemen. We got a race. There you go, Phillies, hotly. You know, we got it going on again. I, yeah, I dusted them off, and I brought them back into play. I gave them up for dead, and they're they're alive. They're nowhere even close to being dead. Tonight, you get one of the big three going. Both we went last night. Tonight, Kalamas will go. And when Kendrick goes, he pitches great for them. And his kid Clout, he's okay, rookie guy. But they have been playing a much better brand of baseball. Yeah, the, the opponents have been weak, but everybody else beats up on those teams. Those are the teams I said to be good. You got to beat up on the bad teams. Beat the hell out of them and just knock out 500 with the rest of the teams, with the good teams. And you'll have 85, no, you'll have about 90, 93 wins, and that should get you in the playoffs, 92 to 93 wins. Okay, let's get our first guy up here. What time did I say he was coming up here? At 10 after John Perotto? Oh, we got a couple more minutes. We're going to get John up first. And after John, Christian Okoye, the nightmare. Then after Christian, we will have, where's our, our 530? Let's see now. Oh, Fergie Jenkins, I'm sorry, going blind, I need a German Shepherd. Fergie's 4040, uh, 445, uh, 545, we'll cut that out. Anyway. Okay, and then Dan Pika will come on, and after Dan will be Reggie Grant, and after Reggie Grant, we got Seth Joyner. So let's get right to it, man. Let's go dial up this guy, and who's our first guy I see again with John Perotto? Let me get him into the phone here for you. We're going to talk some baseball, and I'll tell you, it's really getting to the point where you got to love it. You gotta love it because the simple fact is, it's, the Phillies are alive. You get 20. Let's see, they're 73. That's 143. They got 19 games yet. They want to make up three games. They're right in there with Pittsburgh. The Dodgers are falling apart since they made all them trades. And and St. Louis can't buy it. When, and Berkman's out for a year. Now they don't have pools either for the rest of the whole year, of course. And the pitching went bad. Meaning Chris Carpenter went out. They came over, came up. Got him. Molina took a bad shot in there. But you know something? I don't feel sorry for them. Not the guy should be hurt. I don't want to hear that. With the Philadelphia Phillies, they have had every single member of that team on the DL. They have never been at full strength until now. Okay, even the third baseman still out Blanco. 
and Martinez said, what my dirty playing third base because he has a glove. But the rest of the positions, Dominic Brown's out there, there's no Hunter Pence, there's no Shane Victorino, and here they are beating up all the weak teams and playing some good baseball right now. That pitch is coming in handy. Let's bring up John Parada. Parada, uh, here, baseball. How you doing, John? 